and uh, they, they all have a minimum required of, uh, of English. Uh, and also we have um, a lot of Inuit uh, working uh, on site. Uh, we have a big uh, training program uh, where we train our Inuits on, on, on many different uh, positions, especially uh, everything related to uh, heavy uh, equipment. So this is the, the Meadow Bank uh, complex. Um, it started out over uh, 10, 10 years ago. Uh, it's uh, close to Baker Lake, well close, it's 100 kilometers away from Baker Lake, which is um, the closest uh, community. Uh, it's been in production for uh, over 10 years now. And it started out as an open pit. Uh, and we are now moving uh, forward with an underground, with a mix of open pit and underground in the next couple of months. Uh, uh, we're just about to start the production with the, with the underground. Uh, what is special about this mine is that we uh, have the original site of Meadowbank uh, and uh, we, we finished uh, mining the original site uh, and we found a deposit uh, 70 kilometers away that's called Amru uh, and that's where we are mining from right now. So we kept the process plant open uh, at uh, Meadowbank and uh, also a maintenance shop but everything uh, related to production is at Amrook, uh, 70 kilometers away. And we truck the ore in the, on the picture, the, we call them long haul trucks. Uh, so uh, they pull 100, 150 tons uh, to the mill uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, 24 hours, seven. And we have uh, 28 of those trucks uh, bringing the ore to the mill. Uh, we're we're uh, putting through the mill, it's 10,000 tons a day. Uh, and with the underground, we're hoping the underground to bring an extra 2,000 tons a day to, uh, to the mill. Uh, so this is uh, the uh, Meadow Bank uh, complex. The, um, the air, when we land uh, with the plane, uh, we, we have our own airstrip. So it, it's by the mine and we operate our own uh, airstrip. The Meliadin site is our, our, brand, our brand new <coughs> To uh, two years old, uh, but it, it's the new mine in Nunavut. Uh, this mine is a, is an underground operation, uh, and we just started some small open pits uh, uh, close by. Uh, but really, the the um, uh, the biggest part of the ore comes from the underground uh, uh, mining. Uh, as you can see, the production is, is quite high uh, at Meliadine. It's uh, it's rich. Uh, and uh, we're expecting the mine life to be uh, at uh, 2032 and probably beyond because we're still exploring. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we, have, we own uh, a lot of land around that project too. Uh, so Meliadin, we, it's close by, by Rankin Inlet. It's really like uh, 40 kilometers away from Rankin Inlet, which is the closest community. And we land at the airport in Rankin Inlet. Uh, and then we bus our employees uh, to, uh, to the mine site. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for Amelia Dean. Uh, this is a big project that we just acquired from CMAC um, last uh, February. Uh, so uh, the, this project uh, is, is, is a much smaller project right now. Uh, right now we are uh, looking um, uh, uh, we're, we're exploring more with, uh, with this site because there's very high quality uh, deposits uh, that are there. It's, it's in production, but it, it has slowed down. Uh, and we are looking at ways to, uh, to, to merge um, uh, some employees and some of the uh, techniques that we can use and, and uh, up, upgrade uh, the Hobe project. So there will be uh, uh, lots of action with the Hobe project here for, for next year. And as you can see, on the map, uh, it's still quite far from the Amrok project. It's more than 500 kilometers. And from the Meadowbank site to the Meliadin site, we're talking uh, 300 kilometers. Uh, that separates those mines. Um, so of course, if you wanna, if you wanna follow us and, and see what, what's going on, or maybe before I talk about this slide, uh, I don't know if you follow the media uh, over the weekend, uh, but on uh, on Friday, uh, the uh, the we the Kirken Lake Gold uh, Company and Agnico Gold decided decided to merge, and it was officialized on Friday. Uh, so this is a very big news uh, for the mining industry and for Agnico Eagle. Uh, and uh, in, in the next couple of months and, and in, in the next year, we will know what uh, 
this will mean for uh, for our mines and our employees. Uh, but right now, it was just uh, accepted by the um, uh, by the shareholders uh, on Friday. So that's uh, very good news. So if you want to know more about Agnico Eagle, you can always visit the corporate website. Uh, we also have the, the regular uh, social media accounts. And uh, we also have special accounts, uh, Facebook accounts uh, for our employees and people who like to follow uh, the company on the Facebook. Uh, we also have special uh, Facebook links uh, where you can, uh, you, you can go get uh, some information. Uh, and of course, lots of uh, our employees and, and the recruiters, we are on LinkedIn as well. Uh, so uh, if ever you have questions and you wanna know more about the company or, or the careers that are available and also for the suppliers to know uh, what opportunities are available for you, you can always contact us uh, through LinkedIn or the uh, other accounts. So, uh, Hey, I had the 20 minutes, so I think uh, I'm, I'm shy three minutes. So um, uh, is there any questions? Uh, I'll look in the chat. Natalie, yeah. outstanding jobs. This is Kevin, uh, folks. Uh, you'll see my name on the screen is Glenn Dredhart. Glenn is the publisher of uh, Mining Life Online and Mining Life yes. Magazine and the Canadian Trade Acts and of course the company that is bringing you uh, this uh, this terrific conference. Uh, notwithstanding that little you know, technical traffic jam we had earlier today, again, thank you for your patience on that. Natalie, outstanding job. Well, we're waiting to see if anybody pops in with a question here. Folks, uh, prefer yes, if you could just... Uh, if you could just... There, uh, there is a question about the Ham and Reef project and... Uh, okay. It's it's a very good it's a very good question because we're uh, we're mo uh, most likely talking with a, a lot of people from uh, northwest uh, uh, Ontario uh, and uh, we are the uh, we are the owner of the Hammond uh, Hamming Reef uh, project uh, and uh, right now we are still in the uh, we're, we're still uh, working on the permits. Uh, it's in it's it's in the plans, uh, but it's a very a very young project, if we can say. Uh, but we do have people um, on site there meeting different communities, uh, the the natives uh, around the project as well. Uh, so uh, it's a, it's a very uh, it's a very new project, uh, and um, the right now there's no right now there's no uh, career opportunities or for the suppliers no no opportunities because we're really in in the Natalie thank you so much. Uh, so here's a question from mm. uh, Sandale Utility Products. Uh, how will purchasing decisions be made uh, now that the merger is underway, the KLG and uh, Agnico Eagle? Yes. Great question, probably on a lot of people's minds. Uh, of course, and honestly, I don't have the answer to that. It happened on Friday. Uh, so uh, I, I know the, the, um, uh, the goal of this merger is, is, uh, is uh, to share uh, expertise and, uh, and I'm sure purchasing will be part of, uh, of that. Uh, but honestly, uh, I, can, I cannot uh, say uh, how, how this, this will work yet. I don't want to give you false information. Terrific, yeah. Natalie. Thank you. So we do have time for a couple more questions, uh, folks. This is, you know, Agnico Eagle. There's little little doubt that, uh, you know, they're they're now they're top tier. They're they're one of the biggest companies now in the world. Uh, just doing some amazing things here in both northeastern and northwestern Ontario and yeah. Quebec. And there's a there's a good question about the training. Uh, so uh, the training, do you mean training uh, for uh, um, for all of our employees or for the Inuit up in Nunavut? Um, so maybe I can I can answer uh, first for the Inuit in Nunavut. Uh, so we uh, we do have uh, our own uh, training program uh, where uh, we do we call it first a uh, work readiness program where we uh, it's it's a week uh, course uh, where we show the basis uh, to the Inuit of uh, of what it's like to be working and we bring them to the mine as well. And then depending on their interest, uh, we bring them uh, in entry level positions uh, like uh, the kitchen. Uh, and also the, the cleaning crew. Uh, and then uh, when, uh, if they have interest in uh, learning uh, the, the, the haul trucks, uh, 
Uh, we we have most of our Inuit go through the, the whole truck training program. And after uh, 30, uh, 300 something hours, uh, they, they become autonomous and, and operate the whole trucks in the uh, uh, in our pits. Uh, we also have some trainings, uh, some trainees in the maintenance department and the process plant as well. Uh, but it's it's ongoing. And at Miliadin, we're working hard with the underground uh, mine, but it's a bit it's a bit more difficult. On a, they, they're not as used to uh, the uh, underground world. Um, for uh, for our employees, uh, we do uh, we do have some training programs, uh, but uh, uh, de depending on where the, uh, the the crew is, we have our employees going on different um, uh, specialized trainings, or we have. Uh, companies come directly on site and train our employees. We can think of a uh, Sandvik, uh, uh, McLean uh, technicians coming on site and uh, supporting our crews uh, for maintenance, uh, for example. Uh, can uh, repeat turn system. Uh, the best way to connect with the procurement staff uh, maybe I can leave a, a link. Can, um, is that possible that I leave a link on the um, on this? Uh, in, in the chat, yes. In the chat, in the chat? Yeah, go yeah. ahead and type it in the chat, sure. Okay, yeah. is the language French? Um, so the um, it's a very good question for the language. Um, so, like I said, in uh, in our uh, in our minds in Quebec, of course, that's the uh, that's the the official language is French. But as soon as we cross to Nunavut, and same thing will be with uh, uh, when we merge with a KLJ, it's going to be the official language will be English. Uh, but of course, like I said, uh, remember that the roots of Agnico are from Quebec, so you will have, we, you will hear some strong accents like mine. I cannot get rid of mine, uh, but uh, everybody has a minimum required of English to be working uh, at our mine sites. Natalie, you, you certainly never have to uh, never have to apologize about uh, about <laughs> accents. Uh, that's uh, totally totally unnecessary. Um, Folks, uh, I think we I think we need to wrap things up unless there is something that is uh, incredibly uh, yeah, pressing that somebody needs to ask Natalie. Perhaps you can get a hold of her through the uh, the information that's on the screen. Natalie, thank you so much for doing uh, just a wonderful job here and and adapting again. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. Uh, and to everyone, I mean, wow, I'm just looking at the number of attendees here again that have stuck. 77 people, Natalie. Uh, that's huge. Um, that's a huge you. number thank of people. Thank you so much.